So we all know we're in the festive season, we're in Christmas. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Naninga Koe. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope I'm going to be of help to you today. So stay tuned. Yeah, guys, we are basically in the festive season. We are doing the it's just about to be New Year's actually. And hopefully this video will go up before New Year's. I don't know when it will go up, but hopefully it will be before New Year's. Uh so you know that the color of the season is usually red. If you want to stand out from the crowd, you use red. Uh, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do a video review. It's not really a review. It's just to show you exactly what you're going to get in case you purchase any of the following products, which are two products. And I'm going to be doing a swatch and a try-on for the Maybelline uh, Made for All Lipstick Ranges. You know, they are currently Maybelline has a store in Kenya. So uh, especially on uh, Jumia, they have an official store on Jumia. And the made for all range, for those of you who do not know, is actually a lipstick that is supposed to flatter all. That's why it's called made for all. Yeah, it's supposed to flatter all. And when I mean all, I don't mean young and old, although it's both also young and old. I mean light skin, dark skin, medium shade, um, yellow, brown, you name it, all those shades that we exist in in the world. So these lipsticks are supposed to flatter everybody. And we have two of them that are usually a bone of contention. And for me personally, I know that I was stuck between buying which one should I buy first. And lucky for me, I bought the one that I preferred first, although they are all lovely. They are all very lovely lipstick. Otherwise, I would not be doing a whole video. So it's basically the red for me and the ruby for me. Um, you know, ruby is a shade of red. So... You, you now understand why you might be stuck between the red for me and the ruby for me. So we are going to try both of them out and I'm going to tell you exactly how they feel and how they look. And you're going to see for yourself how they look. So stay tuned to the video and uh, let's see you at the end when you see me comparing them side. I believe these lipsticks came out like several years ago. I'm not sure, but at least in Kenya, we've gotten them recently. I think like a year ago or something and uh, they are cream lipsticks they're not liquid lipsticks but i'm telling you they feel amazing on the lips like hey they are cream lipsticks which means they come in a tube like this one so that tube there so side side by side you can actually see a difference already in the shades because the shade on top on this cover is supposed to resemble the shade inside the lipstick so side by side, you can already tell that the ruby for me, which is this one, is actually like a darker shade of red or a, a blue tinged red. So this is the ruby for me. This is the red for me. And from the packaging, you can even tell that this red for me is more of an orange red than this one. This is a blue red and this is an orange red, like from the cover, just from the cover with not even open. The second thing you have to know about these lipsticks is that the red for me, of course, you can't see from there, definitely. But the red for me is written matte. So this one is written matte. And this one is not written matte. It's not written anything. Apart from Ruby for me. Jemmy, Paris, Maybelline, New York. Matte, not written matte. So straight away, you can tell that this is going to be matte on your lips. And this one is going to probably have like a satin. Sorry if you can hear any noises in the background. That's just my son playing with his friends as usual. For those of you who followed me, you know that he's always in each and every of my videos. I need to maybe sound through this room. Yeah, but um, matte, not matte, orangish red, bluish red. Now let's just confirm if inside they actually look like that. So this is the red for me. And this is the ruby for me. So let's not confuse them. Side by side, you can see they resemble the cups, basically. This is the red for me, and this is the ruby for me. You see, this, this red for me actually has like an orange hue to it, and this one has like a blue hue to it. Now, let's do like a swatch on our hands. You know, we want to go in details. We don't want to make a mistake, eh? So this is the red for me, red. 
the red as you can see it's a very orange red very orange red and this one is uh, the ruby for me which is like a bluish red and uh let's just try it on our lips because that's the best place to try them on so let me get rid of this lipstick i'm also not a fan of it and let's just mm, compare difficult this difficult to get off extremely difficult extremely difficult to get off. it took me a while but i know in the video it won't look like it took me a while so we're going to start with the red which is a matte lipstick and we are going to see exactly how it looks Ooh. Ooh. So that is red for me. Red, bright red for me. As you can see, it's an orange red, very orange very very orange not orange it's not orange in color it's a red but with orange undertones to it so there that's the red for me so this shade of red is basically supposed to flatter everybody everybody whether you're south sudanese or you're irish it's going to flatter you so yeah i think it looks good yeah i like it I like it. I like it. I like Not it. only does it look good, it feels amazing. Like the lipstick I've removed was a bit drying. You just know liquid lipsticks, they're drying. That's why I always prefer cream lipstick. This one feels like you've, you have velvet on your lips, except that velvet has been applied with oil and is just slipping and sliding. Yeah, so, oof, feels good. Feels good on the lips, I'm telling you. You should try it. You won't even need a lip balm. Okay, I'm back with my bare lips and we are going to now use the ruby. Ruby for me. Oh, what's this? This is disgusting. So I'm just going to apply and this one I've been using it a lot in my videos. So if you're familiar with my channel, you might probably recognize it. Ugh. Yeah, as you can see, this one has a sheen. It has a sheen to it. And it's a blue red as compared to the other one. I know the camera is making it look like an orange red, but it's a blue red. My opinion, I prefer this one. For me, I prefer this one, but I love both of them. Like, the matte is also fire. This one is fire. Like, they are all fire. So, and I just love the way they feel on the lips. I'm not even going to lie. I know there's a problem with cream lipsticks, like, transferring. So, don't, like, go hugging people when you're applying. You've applied this because you're going to leave them with a big red stain. But, feels amazing. Like, on the lips, I, I give Maybelline this one 10 out of 10. Like, woo! Yeah. So, you can actually for your holiday party like this mm. i love them so um basically that's the difference between those two lipsticks they are ruby for me is is a blue red red for me is an orangish red and they're both flattering either way regardless and um i love them i love them so so much and um what else this one has a sheen ruby for me has a sheen to it the other one is matte 